let's put all these pieces together and look at how you would do an assessment where you would integrate the identification of both loss of muscle and fat at one time. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take my index middle finger and I'm gonna be touching underneath your eye. These are called orbital fat pads and it's one of the sites that we can look for nutrition status. Okay, so I'm gonna be pressing the bony ridge right underneath the eye, those fat pads. So this should be slightly bulgy. And I'm also looking for the prominence of the brow bone. Okay, great. So next I'm gonna be taking a look at the buccal fat pad. So this is the fat that's underneath your cheekbone and above your jawline. I'm just gonna palpate this area. Just checking to see if that, there's any hollow or sunken depressions here. I'll be looking at your temporalis muscle, which is the muscle right here, and I'm going to be feeling for the strength of the muscle and if I can see any hollowing or scooping. So if you can, can you clench your jaw two or three times for me? And that helps me assess the strength of that muscle. I'll be looking at your clavicle bone, which is located right here. So I'm going to move this down out of the way. Right here is okay. So for this, you can have your head straight. I'm assessing for any indentation here. And I'm feeling above. We've got a nice trapezius muscle. And underneath, I'm seeing if I could slide my fingers underneath that clavicle bone. Let's take a look at your shoulders. I'm gonna palpate your shoulders. I'm gonna palpate and feel for the edge of this, the chromium process. And I'm also looking to see if it's visible. We're gonna be taking a look at your back. And for this, if you could put your arm out straight and you're gonna to wanna to press against me. This flexes your muscles in your back. And I'm gonna palpate and assess the mass of the muscle and tone. Now I'm gonna be taking a look at your ribs and also your iliac crest, which is the top of your hip bone. So I'm gonna be feeling to the bottom of your rib cage and feeling the top of that iliac crest, and then I'm gonna be pinching, okay? So if you could sit up for me, now undo this real fast, okay? You could reach your arm out and gently press against me. So I'm going to be palpating down the side. I'm going to find the end of your ribs and then the top of your hip bone, iliac crust, and giving you a good squeeze in the middle. Good. Relax. And I'm going to ask you to bend your arm at a 90 degree angle. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be grabbing your tricep area. So I'm going to take my fingers and pinch and I'm gonna roll down and I'm gonna separate the muscle from the fat. Okay. Thank you. Which one of your hands is your dominant hand? My left one. Okay, great. Can I see your left hand? So there's this interosseous muscle right here that I'm gonna be feeling. And also, can you make the okay sign for me? I'm gonna be palpating from a different angle. Okay, great. Now can I have you place your hand palm up and make a motion like you're catching a ball. And I'm gonna be palpating this thenar muscle. Got a nice round full muscle here. Great. I'm gonna be taking a look now at your legs. So I'm gonna roll the covers down. And if you could, could you bend your leg for me? Great. Now I'm gonna be feeling your quadricep muscle and assessing for your tone and also for the bulk of that muscle. Great. Cup your knee. Great. 
Next, I'm gonna be palpating your calf muscle. So I'm gonna lift your leg, I'll hold your ankle here. And if you can, can you point your toe? That's gonna engage this muscle. Okay, now you can relax. 